Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Doug and today I'm going to show you how to paint a car and put logos on it and just do whatever you want to it without affecting anything else in the background. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up this picture. I have the link in the description if you want to use this exact same picture. And uh, you're going to grab the background and you're going to duplicate the layer just in case if you ever mess up. Alright, and after you have that done, you're going to hit this little thing right here. If I highlight it, I don't know what it says. Okay, it says a adjustment layer. Okay, and then you go to hue saturation. And as you can see right here, you know, I can change, you know, whatever I want, but uh, it affects everything. So, you know, let's put that at zero. Now let's go to the reds because it's a red car. And let's just put this at a 40 and see what it does, a random number. All right, there's a color. We'll use that color. So you're going to click right there on this little layer right here and then hit control I. So now it's red. And what we're going to do is we're just going to we're going to paint around the redness and just get it back to the color that we picked. And as you can see this paint is making it to where the you know the the shininess and all the um, reflections on the car are still there. Now, I'm going to fast forward it to where I have the whole car painted out. But before I go, an easier way to do it is you can click somewhere. And if you hold shift and you click somewhere else, the line goes for you. Okay, so that could be a whole lot quicker. And also, um, instead of going up here and changing the size of the brush, you can just hit the, the buttons that are on the screen. You can hit this to go lower or smaller and this to go bigger. Saves a lot of time. So I'm going to fast forward this and I'll see you guys in a second. Alright guys, so now that I have this whole car painted out and it looks pretty nice, let's zoom out real quick. It didn't affect anything else in the picture. If I wanted to, I can go over here and I can click it and it changes, but we don't want that. So let's control Z that. Alright, so now we're going to go over here to the channel real quick and re-click this. And as you can see, I went around it. Alright. Now as you guys can see, the color of my car is different because I had messed up and I restarted it. So if you if your car is orange and my car is different, don't worry, it's the same thing. You can change it by doing the same step. Um, but now, as, as I'm showing more into detail, I'm going and I'm changing the color of the car itself. And nothing in the background is changing. So right now, I'm going to pick this color right here. And then, I think I want to change the door now. So what you need to do to change just the door without changing anything else is you need to go to the layers tab and then make a new layer then you go to the lasso and you uh, zoom in hitting control plus and hold in the space bar to move over and then you can set your lasso that way so I'll be back whenever I'm done lassoing alright now that my lasso is completely done around the car you can see that uh, just my door is highlighted so now you go over here to the same thing go to hue saturation and you can change the color of the door And after you pick a color for your door, if that's what you want to do, um, you can put stuff on it. Now, in this case, I'm going to make a new layer and I'm going to add a smurf to the car, just a smurf head to it. I don't know why, I just felt like doing it. And so now I am going to lasso around the head and when I'm done lassoing, I will come back I'll be back in a second alright now that the lasso is done around the Smurfs head I'm just gonna go to this pointer and drag the Smurfs head into the onto the car layer onto the car layer and drop it in so as you can see it looks pretty nice I guess but I wanna change the way it looks so all you would have to do is go over here and you can choose in between different styles of the Smurf head that you wanna show and I like the way that this smurf head looks so that's the one I'm gonna keep and now if you go to edit and then transform then you can go to skew or skew or pick whatever one you want I use skew and that just makes it you know level with the car to make it look like it's actually on the car door and then go to blur and Gaussian blur and then if it's set to 0.5 that's pretty good it just blurs it in a little bit and there you go the car looks pretty nice um, the colors are pretty bad, but I was just throwing something together. You can get creative if you would like. Um, if you like this video, comment, rate, subscribe, and stay tuned for this apple right here. I will be making a video maybe tomorrow or sometime this week of how I made this 3D apple in Photoshop, only using Photoshop. 
So send in your video responses if you guys have any, and thank you guys for watching.